Hello, this is Jason Blake, and I'm going to be going over the Plasma 1 screen here. I'll start up in the top left corner and work my way down. I will start here at the axis letters are editable, so you can simply click on the axis letter and change it to whatever you'd like, either using the on-screen pop-up keyboard or actually just using your actual hardware keyboard. Um, your axis letters will actually change color depending on whether the machine is referenced. So if I come over to my offsets and I hit home all, they will each reference. And then I also have access to a zero all as well, or I can just simply type in to the DRO to zero it to that current uh, position. Um, all these codes on the buttons that I'll be talking about are completely editable. They'll be inside of your profile, inside your macros. So it'll be Mach 3 macros, your profile, and then the specific macro you're looking at. So if you look at zero all, uh, you can see our zero all code. I can change that in real time, uh, change it here, come back in here and test it in real time without having to reload anything. Um, so we'll start over here on the file. You can use the open cut, which simply opens up the standard dialog to load in a file. And then uh, you also have the option to load in multiple files and choose a file to load just by clicking the file and hitting the load selected, uh, which is really nice because you can uh, know what you're going to be doing throughout that day. Uh, you can also add to a queue. Uh, so let me clear these out. Let's say I want to add to a queue of multiple files. I just hold down my shift, select the those files, and hit load. It'll process those in. And then at that point, can uh, run a job queue or load individual files. So I will come in here and uh, show a quick job queue. It's going to tell me uh, I, I, to run a job queue, you just simply hit the run job queue on and decide whether you want to hit cycle start between jobs. Um, you can also use the add button which is the same as the add files to queue. You can delete a queue and you can move up or down the hierarchy of that queue. So let's say I want to put four down here and I want to run my job queue from this position. And then I would hit the cycle start. It'll load in the file, run it, go to the next one. And it'll turn it red as you can see after you've run each file so you know uh, that that which files you've completed. You can hit the auto open uh, queue is complete, hit OK. And then at that point you can run the job again. Uh, if you hit save it'll store which files that you've ran. It'll show files ran four, total files four. Uh, hitting save. Otherwise if you don't hit save it'll keep the files in here but it won't show them red. So from day to day if you need to run the same files um, then you know that for, the, for that day. Uh, you can also, let's just open up a normal file here. Uh, do estimate time. The estimate time will be displayed below the G code over here. Run time, ETA, and your current line number. Uh, one other nice feature here is that as I scroll through the G code, you can see that the progress bar up here shows uh, how far I am in the file. So if I was to scroll all the way down, the file is complete. This is completely blue. Uh, if it's starting, this will be white not complete and it hasn't been started yet. You can edit uh, the current loaded file by hitting the edit button. This will add, actually o uh, open up a uh, program that I've written called gedit. Uh, it's really nice for on-screen um, editing of your g-code uh, and you know on-screen keyboard. Once you're done you can choose to save that. It'll load it back in and you're set to go. On the top right hand corner is your logo this is dynamically loaded, so you can have anything inside of your bitmap folder inside of mock uh, called mylogo.jpg and that'll get loaded here. You've got your e-stop, your message, uh, which you can also clear it here as well. Uh, you've got your uh, macros. These are two macro um, user buttons. As I click it, it turns my air on or off. These are actually found also in your profile. And this is going to be called your user output 2 and you can simply change this to whatever you'd like. So if I want to say Conair on off and I hit save and then simply hit the button, it will update appropriately to whatever I changed inside of there. Uh, and these are very easy to just drop in here and make uh, quick changes as you're running your machine if you add uh, new features to your machine. Get your THC and your torch which will indicate that the torch is on by being red and depressed. THC will be indicated by being depressed and green. Uh, your height cut, and uh, that will automatically uh, send a me message queue every time, uh, whether you enter it in, however you enter it in. 
Um, you can also click in your G code, scroll, or use your scroller. Um, you've got your MDI. You can type in uh, your G0X1. Uh, and then it'll appropriately move to that position. <clears throat> uh, you have your feed rate, uh, which you can actually scroll and see uh, I get the motor velocity tuning so I know the uh, capacity of your motors at their limit. Uh, I also have a feed override uh, slider. We are going to go over to the jog. There's on-screen jog buttons and uh, you can see that your motors as you're moving your motors uh, it will represent a green, yellow to red as your uh, velocity in your motors up above the DROs here. You can go from continuous to fixed, enter in a value for a fixed uh, uh, distance you want to travel, and this also has a slider so you can change the jog speed. If you do hit one of your soft limits and you are using soft limits, you can use the, uh, this will be indicated with a check mark, which then you can move off the soft limit and then uncheck it. You can turn your jog on and off here with the check. You've got a recovery, so if uh, you're in the middle of your file and you lose arc, uh, there is a couple options. You, you can run from that uh, particular land that you decided to run from. You can set the next line, meaning you are in position and you want to run from that current position. Or you can do a stop and loss cut recovery. And uh, other options are the offsets, user configurable. Um, your settings, you can choose a material load. Uh, you can store reference points to return the machine to and then all of your settings for your torch. You have your diagnostics, which will, uh, I currently don't have this hooked up to a machine, so this is, would actually show you your power load, case temp, drive temp volts, um, and your amps, uh, and other uh, homes and soft limits. Now at this point, <clears throat> you can get into the admin section. Uh, by clicking the admin button, this will give you a more detailed view of uh, many different uh, options that you might not want the operator to use. Here we can change from uh, machine to part, and that'll go from yellow to uh, actually red, and then soft limits on or off. Um, under the mock settings, you can override the, your, uh, your rapids and your automatic uh, limit overrides if you want it to activate that and then change your different units. The HMI settings will show you your license number for the particular screen in your machine. You can turn on or off the menu, uh, which is displayed at the top, and then you can also save settings here. You can also deactivate uh, the keyboard so it doesn't pop up or activate it, depending on if you're on a touch screen. Uh, you can also change your decimal value. Simply typing in here and doing update decimals will then go to the fourth place. It uh, appropriately updates these as well. So for example, feed and feed rate, you know, we don't want those past what the uh, current value is. You can also show your password. This is an admin password. The way this works is we're going to type in admin. And let's say, for example, I close this and I go back into admin, it's going to say it's a restricted area. The user then would have to know the password and hit OK, and then they can get in the admin section, otherwise it won't allow them in. Make sure you're running the Flash Player 9, um, that you have read and write uh, prohibited uh, for Windows 7 and Vista, um, and that just shows some resolutions that we're currently at. Um, there are the built-in anti dive for mock, um, enabling and disabling accesses. So we kept this pretty simple. Also, if you need it, you can always right click. Uh, under the right click, you can, for example, get into your VB editor, uh, make changes here, uh, load, stop, and reference the machine home, clear status, and, and view your history. Let's see, what else? I think that's about it. Pretty simple, straightforward, a lot of functionality, a lot of power here, really easy to use. Uh, and a simple uh, GUI to run your machine. Thank you very much. Uh, one little thing to, to worth mentioning here is uh, also on your right click if you uh, do the help, the help will pop up and what it does is it keeps track of everything the user has done on the machine uh, for that period of time that they've had it open. It'll show the DROs that were hit, um, the whether the e-stop was hit, uh, the current files, uh, the files loaded by the person, uh, how long it, you know, the file was running for, um, and you also can clear this here, 
uh, type of value um, or type of, a type and a value also if you need to do an immediate send here as well. Thank you.